Hey folks, Charles here with the next episode of Charles Snyder Raw. Haven't done any new ones in a while because I've been revamping all the old ones, correcting the articles, make them look nice, all that fun stuff, and republishing them. However, with the way things are today, I don't want to uh, make it seem like I'm oblivious to what's going on with coronavirus and stuff. So I wanted to talk today about how do you market during a crisis now i've lived through several of them which you know is 9 11 sars and uh you know i started business you know back in the 80s when there was hiv there's i mean they're they're all different crises but the one thing still remains the same is you have to continue marketing especially when times are tough. I found that out the hard way in 2008. I didn't market enough. Thing, you know, things got really tight and I almost lost my business. However, in 2001, I did advertise after 9-11 because for a couple of days there, everything shut, shut down. Things were uncertain. You know, there, you know, certainly there was a surge of pa patriotism after that because it was the terrorist attack. It wasn't just a group of people. It was a bunch of Muslims trying to kill Americans to make a political point. A cowardly one at that. But the thing I want to talk about is how, what do you do when it hits the fan <laughs> as far as your business goes? And I'm not trying, you know, I'm, I'm not making light of the subject. I joke around a lot and I'm trying to behave myself in this video. So, Anyway, one of the things I wanted to talk about is right now with the coronavirus, I believe that the media is making stuff a lot worse than what it is because the media is in the game of making money. They make money by selling advertising. They get people to view that advertising by getting, you know, by getting viewers on their channel. The more viewers they get, the more money they can charge. And here lately in the last 10 years, and almost every single one of the news outlets are guilty of this, is they are in the business of playing with your emotions to get you to view their newscast, check out their newspapers, go to their website, etc. They are playing with you to make money. They're making money off of your fear, and they're doing it again with this coronavirus business. Because there's a 97% survival rate from this disease now that's not saying that i think it's cool that three percent of the people that get it die that's not what i'm saying the regular influenza the flu kills more people per year than what coronavirus does it has a higher mortality rate but we're not doing quarantines and shit for that anyway that's not the whole gist of what i'm doing here let's talk about how do you market during a crisis? What do you do? How do you handle your marketing? Do you sit back and hope for the best? Pray that maybe you'll be okay? Maybe you'll still have a business when everything blows over? Or do you do something about it? It doesn't hurt to hope and pray. But doing something about it does something about it, if you follow my gist. But how do you market right now? People are stuck at home. They have more time, free time. A lot of people are stuck at home, and they have more free time on their hands. Uh, they're dealing with wives, children, family, what have you. I got a fiance 8,000 miles away, and I'm dealing with her more now than I've ever had. <laughs> but that's not my whole point. And like I talked about in COVID-19 quarantine crisis, is you got those options. You can sit back quietly and hope for the best, or you can do something about it. But if you go the route and doing something about it, how do you do it without sounding like an insensitive jerk that's nothing trying to do nothing but make money, or pretty much being just an oblivious idiot and acting like nothing's wrong? Neither, the, it's pretty extreme cases but let's think about this. You know, the person that's still putting out videos or advertisements or something like that and acting like business is normal. 
It's not good. And the other side of that coin is people are like, you know, buy, 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 buy my shit, buy, 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 buy. They just suck to begin with. Doesn't matter if there's a crisis or not. <laughs> so I'm trying to help find, help define a middle ground. I don't know if you would call it a fine line, but a middle ground, a happy medium where you're still putting that out there, which is why I said one of the things you want to do is work on building your list right now. Offer more content, offer more freebies, do whatever you got to do to get those names, emails, and phone numbers on your list so that you can market to them later on. The building your distribution. I've talked about this before in other videos, a lot of other videos. So I'll, I'll wrap that up with saying you have to have a little bit of empathy and you have to have, you have to be a little bit sympathetic to people's positions. People are scared. People are being frugal. They're being tight with their money. You got toilet paper riots and you got the news, you know, blowing stuff out of proportion and everything. So you have to be sensitive to where people are at right now. So with that being said, what I want to do is I want to give three, three good basic tips for marketing right now. Folk, number one, focus on building your list. Get people on your list. Offer those freebies. Do whatever you got to do to help folks follow you to get you know to get on your distribution list so that you can market to them later on. And those names and phone numbers are absolute gold once you have them, because once you have them, you can market to them for life for free. The next step is. Check your message and your tone. Make sure your message isn't too flippant, too silly, too, you know, I like to joke around a lot and I have kind of a dry sense of humor. And I'm trying to check that right now because people are worried, people were upset. So if I sit here making all kind of jokes, someone's going to think, oh, look at that schmuck. Of course, the other end of that spectrum is if you show up you know, wearing a business suit or something like that, or you're doing a video showing you in a crowd or talking about crowds of people, that doesn't jive with people's reality. You have to speak to them where they're at. You have to mirror them emotionally. So you have to do the same with your ad copy and so on and so forth. You have to match the tone or the mood that everyone else of the target audience that you're trying to reach. And along that same lines, check your visuals. If you're doing a very professional looking video in a business environment, guess what? Most of your business professionals aren't in a business professional environment right now. They're sitting at home with their families, with their kids, in their pajamas, unshaved, whatever you want to call it. They're not in a suit and tie sitting at home waiting to check out your advertisements. So keep that in mind when you're doing those things. So one of the other things I wanted to mention about that is one of the ways, that's the way that we're dealing with it here at CESM, my agency, is we're offering some more stuff, a lot more content. I stopped doing uh, the republishing of our old content to start cranking out some new content that is relevant to what's going on right now with the whole coronavirus thing. That being said, we're also launching some other stuff I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll make an announcement for that later on. I'm not going to get into that, but it's all part of this concept that we're talking about. But that's the general gist of it. Keep those things in mind. Keep marketing. Build your list mirror the reality of your target audience and be mindful of how you come across, how you look, what your tone of voice is, what the mood is. Don't drunk around too much. Don't be too serious. Don't scare them. Don't scare people. People are already scared enough, thanks to the media. So don't add to it. But anyway, that does it for me today. And one of the things that I'm offering for free is uh, check, it, check it out. Click on my banner, it says, follow my journey. Doesn't cost you anything. Name, email, phone number, and you'll be the first to know about anytime we publish new content. 
you'll have exclusive access to some stuff that we uh, keep private. And you'll be the first to know when we have this uh, next little program up and running, which is going to be very soon, within the next week, week, week and a half. Anyway, I'm out of here. Stay safe. Stay at home. Wash your hands. Cover your cough. Take care. Love, peace, and chicken grease.